Hi, everybody. Melanie Taylor here, the Director of Education at Eat, Breathe, Thrive, and one of the four co-hosting organizations for the Symposium on Yoga and Recovery of Addiction and Eating Disorders coming up this Friday, September 23rd to 25th. I am so honored to have the pleasure to be here today with Jennifer Kriatsoulis. Did I say that right? I'm sure close, I'm not quite there. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer is a certified yoga therapist specializing in eating disorders and body image. She is the founder of Yoga for Eating Disorders, the author of The Courageous Path to Healing and uh, Body Mindful Yoga, an educator and a mental health advocate. Oh my goodness, it is such an honor to be here. Thank you for coming to visit with me today. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah. Um, so that's all the stuff you've done. Tell me a little bit about you. Let's hear right from you about um, who you are and what you'd like our audience to know about you. Sure, sure. Well, thank you again. Thank you to everyone who's who's watching. Um, so I live in the Philadelphia area. I'm a mother of two girls. I have a dog and a husband as well. <laughs> Can't leave them out, right? Um, <laughs> Um, I have been on my own eating disorder journey for well over 20 years and now have the wonderful gift and blessing to support others on their healing journeys as a yoga therapist. Um, and it really is, you know, my purpose and my passion to, to support others and create community for others to feel seen and heard and validated um, and to provide opportunities that really enrich the recovery experience, right? Um, so I really love bringing people together as much as I love working with people one-on-one -on -one as a yoga therapist. Mm, I hear you on that one. Uh, the community is such a powerful place for healing when our mind wants us to do anything but be in community. It wants us to isolate, <laughs> but uh, it's such yeah. a powerful part of that. I love that. Um, with all of your experience and your own journey, what is one thing you'd want future yoga therapists that might be watching this to know about working with people with eating disorders? I love this question so much um, for a lot of reasons. I think I'd want to share that um, as yoga therapists, within our scope of practice, there's so much potent work that we can do right? That, you know, our scope of practice is really our power, um, that we don't have to do more than be in our scope of practice and share the teachings and the practices of yoga to support others on their journeys. I think it's really important to remember that individuals going through eating disorders are individuals. They're humans having a human experience and that um, we don't need to hone in on a diagnosis or um, you know, make anyone feel more fragmented than they already feel, right? That is yoga therapists. We want to really anchor into our, you know, principle that people are whole as they are and that we are here to hold the space um, and allow them to explore and discover and that the practices and the tools and the philosophies of yoga um, allow that to happen so beautifully. And then I would just also like to share that, you know, for working with people with eating disorders, that yoga um, is an invitation for those individuals, I mean, all individuals, but specifically for those dealing with eating disorders, that yoga, not just movement, but also the breathing and meditation, all the practices, they are invitations for people to turn toward themselves mm -hmm. rather than away from themselves, right? And so when we live with an eating disorder, we are constantly, frantically turning away from ourselves right? Ourselves, our bodies are the things that we're trying to escape, to numb, to tame, right? Like, but these practices are an invitation to turn toward ourselves and to learn to notice ourselves and pay attention. And, um, and there are also practices that invite us to include our bodies and healing our minds, right? The body and mind are not separate, but certainly that's the way we talk about them, but also the eating disorder experience is that they are very separate. Yeah. Right. So we want to, you know, you know really um, hold these practices as an opportunity for people to include their bodies and healing their minds, right. To bring that unity back um, into place. Mm -hmm. So I think they're my key, my key points that I would want to, to offer to my colleagues. So much gold in there. Um. <laughs> 
Thank you. I'm listening and I'm just like, yes, yes, and yes, and yes. Um, and yeah, there's two really key things that I heard, the sense of um, we don't have to be everything for someone. We can really allow ourselves to lean into where our expertise is. And I think back to that community statement too, um, that it takes a team of people to support. I know for me, that was so important in my own recovery of having you know, my therapist over here that had their skills and my yoga teacher over here that had their skills. And um, and each of those the people that worked with me, I think when we honor that space for ourselves um, and, and take that off our shoulders to try to be everything for everyone, that's a really good self-care uh, piece as well. And we get to model that, I think, to that point of like, we get to model being here and being our true authentic selves. I think that's really beautiful, Jennifer. Um, thank you. Um, I'm curious about for you for the symposium, what are you most excited about coming together this weekend? Yeah, I'm really excited for this sym symposium. I think it's incredible that these organizations are coming together to bring forth all of this knowledge, you know, knowledge, knowledge sharing, passion, um, curiosity, wisdom, all of it, just, you know, coming in one place, all with the intention of, of serving the recovery community, you know, addictions and eating disorders. And um, I think that, that that's incredibly powerful. And I can't wait to learn some new practices, some new tools, some new perspectives to be able to share with my clients and my community. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Community supporting <laughs> community. I don't think there's anything better than that. Um, Absolutely. So is there anything I didn't ask about that you wanted to share before I give you an opportunity to tell us how to connect with you? Um, I'd love to be able to just share a little bit about yoga for eating disorders in case yes, anybody listening that. could benefit from what we offer. Great. Yeah, so yoga for eating disorders is a virtual school um, supporting those affected by eating disorders. And our mission really is to um, create community, enrich recovery, um, and just fill in some gaps in the healing experience. And all of our offerings draw on the wisdom and practices of yoga. Um, so we, I have a really excellent faculty um, who leads a variety of different types of programs. They're all virtual, um, everything from yoga and meditation to writing and book groups and um, body image groups and all kinds of great stuff. Um, and we also offer you know, yoga therapy. We have a thriving Facebook community and um, blogs and all kinds of great stuff to just really fortify the sense of community and people feeling less alone and, and more included. So I welcome anyone to, to check us out and, and get involved with no freeding disorders. Mm. Just as you were sharing all of that, I was really hearing the sense of whatever is like the first way that you connect in, like what, if, that's a, if that's a book club, if that's like being on Facebook, that sense of finding community. <clears throat> in a way that feels accessible and um, being around a community of people, I think is such, we talked about that, such a valuable part of the recovery journey. So that sounds lovely. Where would people find you? People can find me on the website, which is yoga for, and it's the number four, yoga for eating disorders.com. You can find me on Instagram, yoga for eating disorders, not the number four, F-O-R. <laughs> And you're also welcome to email me at Jennifer at yoga for eating disorders, F-O-R. No, the number four. Yeah, the four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at yoga for eating disorders. Um, Wonderful. Love connecting and, and hearing people's stories. And um, yeah, so please feel free to reach out. Mm, I hope that they do. Uh, that's really wonderful, Jennifer. Um, thank you so much for meeting with me today. And um, I also want to say on behalf of the Give Back Yoga Foundation, us here at Eat, Breathe, Thrive, the International Association of Yoga Therapists that I know that you are a member of, as well as Yoga for 12 Steps Recovery, we could not thank you enough for helping us get the word out about this symposium and for supporting us um, in really making a difference of bringing this community together. So as I, I hope when you're here this weekend and experiencing that community that you give a little like pat in the back for the fact that you were part of bringing us all together. So on behalf of all of us, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you for your excellent work. <laughs> thank you as well. All right, everybody, if you have not gotten your tickets yet, please go to givebackyoga.org. That's givebackyoga.org and get yours today. And we hope to see you at the symposium this weekend.